Shalom, first and foremost, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor, <coughs> number two, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Karkadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom, and this is a, uh, oh yeah, uh, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, and Shalom to the uh, Akim as well too And while Akwaf and the elders Definitely for sure Salaki slip the tongue of words Oh and uh, I meant to say was uh, The Heavenly Father the true name is uh, Yahweh And His only begotten Son Baha Shem in the name of Hamashiach Havashat. Those are their true names In the ancient Paleo Hebrew Lashwan Kadash the Holy Tongue And once again Shalom to the uh, elders While Akim while Akwaf I say Shalom so my apologies about that Slip of the tongue of words <laughs> Salakia. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Revelations 18 and verse 1 and through verse 3. And this is the book of Revelations 18 and verse 1, and it reads And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was likely with his glory. Uh, Revelations 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen. Is becoming a habitation of deceivers and a hole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean H A T E F U F bird. Right, so this modern day uh, Babylonian system, this uh, modern day version of uh, Babylon is falling. So it's gonna only gonna conti uh, continually, consistently fall now, so more than ever. And the Heavenly Father is exposing this modern day Babylonian system through his men, through his servants and prophets, because we are a representation of the Heavenly Father, how. It's like it says in Amos 3 and verse 7, surely the Heavenly Father will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Just like our great forefathers in Jeremiah 28, the prophets of old prophesied against great countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and the pestilence. And that's what we're doing in these modern day times, prophesying against great countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and the pestilence. And we're definitely prophesying and against this modern day uh, version of Babylon, prophesying against it, you know. That's why we've seen the uh, increasing of uh, modern day Babylon is falling. Because you look at the word Babylon means babal, means confusion, you know. It only promotes evilness and wickedness. The increasing high vibration of a uh, modern day version of Babylon and what it promotes unrighteousness, evilness, and wickedness, you know. Revelations 18, verse 2, we we'll bring it out again for edification's sake. And he cried mightily with that strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. It's become a habitation of deceivers and a hole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean H A T E, the bird. Uh, Revelations 18, verse 4. I mean, Revelations 18, verse 3, 1044, call Halal Yahab Ashim Revelations 18, verse 3. For all the nations have drunken of the wine, the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich. And through the abundances of her delicacies. Right, so all the nations of the earth have been drunken of the ways of Babylon, and they have drunken the, the wrath of, of the fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, unrighteous decrees, evilness, wickedness, been spread by a high vibration of the drunkenness of the vibration of uh, Babylon. Just like ancient Babylon, this is a uh, modern day Babylon. Because the scripture says, uh, Ecclesiasticus 1 and verse 9, there's no new thing under the sun. So, with that, hopefully, this uh, quick sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Revelations 18 and verse 1 through verse 3. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakadash, Shalom, to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Havashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole time. And until next time, I will say Shalom.